Okay, team, welcome to, am I calling it cardio kickbox or kickbox cardio? I can't remember. But it's a short little session, little snack, um, just to go through some cardio movements with you. So for the first, for the first session, I'm going to go through a little warm up first to get us ready and prepared. And then we're going to go through a little bit more of a technique session. Um, so it's going to be quite basic movements because what we want to do is make sure we've got a good technique before we get going with a few more complicated um, co um, combination of movements. So for the first one in a warm up, all we're going to do is do a forward lunge, but we're going to push our hands out from our chest so that we get in some momentum when we go forward into that lunge. And we're going to alternate the legs. Also, I work on about 45 minutes on, 15 seconds, 45 seconds on. We're not working out for 45 minutes. Um, and a little 15 second break in between um, your exercises so that we can demonstrate the next one and you can have a breather. So, for, oh, somebody else coming in. So with the forward lunges, you're going to push your, uh, your arms from your chest as you go forward into that lunge. Getting ready? I'm just going to keep letting people in and go. So from there, we're pushing from the chest. Try and make it quite an explosive movement from the chest and just warming up the shoulders and obviously the lower legs. Lower legs, I think all of our legs are lower, but the lower limbs. <laughs> I'm not used to being aware that this time in the morning I'm going to have confusion. <laughs> are you like me? Did you also just roll out of bed because I did? And I would say put on some music, but it's a little early, but feel free if you're watching this back, put some tunes on. Okay, so first introduction to punches, but just do whatever feels good for this one. I'll show you the technique later. Punch from the shoulders, left, right, alternating as you go. Getting ready. So the aim of this one again, we're just warming up. Loosening up the shoulders. If you're old like me, you're loosening up those hips. I don't know if any of you feel the pains when you get out of bed. It takes about an hour before you start feeling human. <laughs> so we're just lightly punching here, extending through the shoulder, through the arm. Just the bouncing a little bit from foot to foot, shifting that body weight. And these are just, just some simple jabs. Keep that going. So the aim of this class, and rest. Let me show you the next one. Opening up those hips. So we're going to do some knee raises, alternating your legs again. Just going as high as feels comfortable. Getting ready. And go. Again, this is just us warming up those muscles, <laughs> those hips. And yes, yeah, so the aim of the class is just to have a little bit of fun with cardio and learning some badass techniques on the way. So learning how to actually punch, how to kick, and also we can put things together as the weeks progress, combinations of punches and kicks, which make the cardio a little bit more intense, but still low impact. And you can still adjust and go at your own pace with it all. Okay, and rest. Right, that's the little warm up done. I hope everyone's feeling all right. Now we're gonna go through an actual technique so that we can learn a punch. And the first punch that we're gonna learn is jab. So before we start anything else, we need to get our stance. You wanna do that, you're gonna, like with anything else, play around with it until you find the the stance that feels good for you. So it could be a little bit wider for some, could be a bit narrower for others. But we start hip width, feet hip width apart, and we're going to take one step forward with our left leg. Then we're going to slightly turn the toes of our right foot. So we can transfer the weight from the front into the front foot, 
into the back foot and those knees have got range of movement. The reason being why we turn the toe out, if we keep the toe pointing forward, you're going to be compromised if you was actually fighting. You, there's not really, you could easily dislocate your knee basically. So we want to turn that foot out. So from there, we're going to have our guard up and we have our hands near our chin and we have our elbows in protecting our chest cavity and our ribs. So in a fight, you'd be protecting your jaw and you'd be protecting your chest cavity. So from there, we're going to extend the arm from the shoulder. And as we do so, we're going to rotate that hip inwards, coming up slightly onto our toes, pivot the foot. Because with a punch, a lot of the power is coming through from the hips. That is what's going to give the punch the power. So fully extend that arm, think about looking through the telescopic lens. As that hip goes in, the arm extends. Okay, now we're going to set ourselves up for a front kick. We're not going to do the front kick just yet. We're going to practice stepping into it. So that back leg comes forward and we lift the knee. That's all we're going to do for now. Step, lift the knee. Okay? So we're going to do it circuit style. So the first one, the first circuit will be jab and we go left foot. And then you're going to do your second through into your knee. Okay, so working on that jab, hip width apart, one step forward, toes pointing out. Extend from the shoulder through to the through the hips. You're going to rotate those hips as you put. So this is your jab. Your jab is always your leading hand, and we want to extend that hand fully. Extend the arm, sorry. This is going to happen. I'm going to watch the play back and be like, what was he on that carry? And you want to pivot that foot. So the power and the drive is coming through the hips as well as the shoulder. Practice breathing. So the out breath is with the punch. You probably heard boxers making that sound and that. That's just part of learning the breathing techniques. Right, so we're going to stay in that stance and we're going to step me up. So we are just preparing for a front kick execution. <laughs> Step, knee, back down. Try and remember your guard if you can, but don't worry too much. It's okay to put your hands out if you need to balance. So we're just stepping into that kick, loading, getting ready to learn the next part of the front kick. So today you're going to learn jab, cross, front kick. That's good to you, keep that going. Last few seconds I think, I can't see my clock. And rest. Okay, now we're going to disorient you and you're going to change stance. So now you're going to go on your right foot forward, hip width apart, one step forward, toes turn out. Jab from the right. Exactly the same technique, but we're going from the right. So we are pivoting that foot, we are turning the hip internally, and we are punching through the hip and the shoulder. Keeping that guard up on your left. That's good. And of course, you can slow this down or you can go a little bit quicker with your punches if you want to make it a bit more cardio intense. We're just learning the basics and the foundations from which to build on for this session. Last few seconds. And rest. Okay, back to our front kick setup. We're keeping that stance that we learned for our punches and we step, knee. So practice stepping into those kicks because we're going to do that a lot. Okay, and go. So you can also just balance for a few seconds whilst you're in that kick. A lot of what we do as well is going to improve our balance because we're going to have a lot of one leg in the air. 
when we learn more kicks and combinations. Well, I'm going to build a little bit of here. I hope everyone else is warm. I, I've got something going on in my hip at the moment. And then you're like, oh, is it my running? Is it my age? <laughs> Who knows? And rest. Okay, grab a quick breather. Grab a drink if you need it. Just while you're having a quick break, I'm going to show you the next combination. Oh, let me just get my light out of the way. It's like a big, massive spotlight. So we've learned to jab. Now we need to learn the backhand, which is a cross. Exactly the same stance, hip width, one step, toe pivoted out. Guard up, but that punch is now going to come from the back. This is called your cross. And again, that power is coming from the hip rotation as well as the shoulder. You're packing a lot of power behind that punch. Extending the arm fully, so that you end up with your knuckles quite flat, telescopic lens into your opponent. Now we are going to execute that front hip. So all we're going to do as we step in, we're going to fully extend the leg. So you want to think about pushing someone away with the sole of your foot. You might need to lean back a little bit to counterbalance. That's fine. It doesn't matter if your kick is down here. I'm not very flexible, so my kicks are never very high. And of course, it's okay if you want to just stick to the knee for now. So we're going on the back hand. <clears throat> Facing left first. So this is our left stance. Guard up. Punch coming from the back. So again, we are internally rotating those hips. And the power is coming through from the hips as well as the shoulders. The idea is we are packing our weight and our power beyond that punch. The jab is like a little bit of a warning. The cross is the one that's going to hurt. <laughs> when your jabs hurt as well as you get, if you catch it with the right legs. Keeping that guard up. That's 15, we've got 10 seconds. Keep that going. And rest. So if you remember our front kick set up, now we're going to fully extend that leg. So from the side, it looks like that. Send your left stance, step and extend. So think about pushing someone away with the sole of your foot. So it's a push movement. And again, that power is going to come through the hips. And we don't forget we're keeping the knees slightly bent. We are keeping that foot slightly turned out so that we've got more range of motion through the knee. And it's okay to let your arms move about for your balance, whatever works. The guard is just me teaching you the technique. It's not, obviously it's not important as we're not fighting anyone in real life. Oh, and rest, okay. We're gonna go jab. No, sorry, that's not jab. We're gonna do cross on the left hand, but right foot is forward. Getting ready? And go. So we are just punching and rotating again through that hip. Fully extending the arm through the shoulder. So you end up with a nice straight arm, really. We are slightly coming up on the toes of that foot as they pivot with the hip. A spin team, keep that going. This will be our last circuit. Oh no, I've got a little, just got a little core thing to finish before we go. Mind you, this is all core, as you know. Our core is attached to everything, but we'll do it with a lot of rotation. Okay, so forward kick, and we are extending that leg fully, pushing someone away with the side of our foot. Step, X 
accent. But of course, keep it to me if you don't quite feel ready to extend that kick. So push away with the sole of your foot. And also, you're going to find that you are more stable on one side compared to the other. That is totally normal. They are not symmetrical beings. <laughs> we normally have one side that's stronger than the other. We normally feel a little bit more flexible on one side. Totally normal. 10 seconds. And rest. Oh. Right, I'm a breather. So we're just going to finish on so alternating knees and kind of like some, the kind of ab punches, you, you would theoretically be punching your opponent consistently in the air, but you don't think who it is. You're down low and the punches, more of a little bit of a cardio, a little bit of a cardio finisher. And then we're gonna do alternating knees to finish off. So that is just step through knee, step knee. Use your hands to bring some rotation. Okay, so last two exercises, just to finish us off. <laughs> so, any stance you want, you can be neutral, you can be in your left foot, right foot, but just palms facing up and just punch. And I want you to imagine that you are punching a punch bag so nice consistent punches, getting some rotation through that core there. You can put some tension through the hands if you want, so that you can feel it a little bit more on your biceps. You can slow it all the way down too, or speed it up a little bit if you want a little bit of that cardio finisher before the end of the session. 10 seconds. We are nice and loose on those feet. And rest. Okay, so we're going to finish it off with our alternating knees. Don't overthink about the feet. Just alternate your knee and think about rotating down through the side of the leg. Okay, last one too. So I suppose it's opposite knee to elbow. If you want a cue, opposite knee to opposite elbow. And then I'll just step in into that movement, bring it down if you need to. As in, slow that pace down, it's the last exercise. And we'll just do a little quick stretch for our breath to come back down to normal. I'm talking like 60 seconds. If you know me, I don't do stretches and rest. Oh, okay, so that's the session done. That's the first one. We've learned the stance. We've learned how to set up for jab cross and we've learned how to execute the front kick. Um, and we will build on from there each week. So well done everyone, but just to finish, let's just stand However feels comfortable on your mat, I'm just going to take a deep breath in. Bring your toes up towards the ceiling and exhale. From there, just take a little bend to one side. I never know if I'm supposed to mirror, but I can't mirror, it confuses me, so I apologise. I'm back to the top. When, when I said to Amy that I'll do the class, I'm like, yeah, but everyone needs to learn. It's not boxer size. I can't do it to music. I have no coordination. And back to the top. Okay, one last inhale. Stretching all the way, full body stretch. Exhale. And we are done. Okay, I'm going to stop recording, but feel free to... Just stop on and let me know how you found the class. Where is the stop recording button? Right.